right, thanks guys for coming back to Manalytics here. We have some special guests with us from Integrity Impact and Realty LLC. And my co-host Shauna stepping in for Levi today. Oh, so I appreciate it. <laughs> Um, so I want to thank Amber and Jenny as well for stopping in. Yeah, so helping this out. is awesome. Yeah. yeah, thanks for having us. So is you guys the first podcast? It is, yeah. Oh, cool. It is. Really you guys aren't nervous at all, right? No, <laughs> my hands are sweating. <laughs> <laughs> just a little. So it's getting warm in here what all of a sudden. What do I do with my hair? <laughs> if I start twirling my hair, it's just because it's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> Well, guys, um, so yeah, I wanted to bring you in to kind of interview you, get to know who you are, what you do throughout the community, yeah. and just kind of tell us about yourselves. So Sweet. kind of the first question that Sean and I came up with is just kind of your backstories, uh, where you're from again, and then we'll go ahead and lead that into maybe some of your family. Okay. Do you want to go first? Want to go first, Amber? Sure. Um, Amber Julio. I'm from Boulder, Montana, originally. <laughs> we have to make sure everybody knows that because they get very confused. <laughs> um, I made it you know, 30 minutes over the hill to <laughs> Helena. <laughs> right. <laughs> and um, what, what was the other part? The family. Yeah, just a little bit about yourself. So you're Boulder there. Um, you have some kiddos? Yes, I do have two kids. So I have a daughter that is 14 and a son that is 12. So we're rocking into the high school oh, yeah. world, which is entertaining in itself. Um, what do you guys do kind of for fun? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we love to be outdoors, so we're typically either side by siding or camping, or I'm chasing them to sports. That's probably ninety percent of my yeah. life. I think <laughs> that's, that's all she does. <laughs> that's pretty much every day when people this call me. Right? Yes, I do ride offers while I'm at lacrosse games. In case anyone was wondering, <laughs> in between. <laughs> so big, big fans of lacrosse then, and then basketball. Um, so Kelton is basketball. Okay. He plays basketball and lacrosse and football. Those are kind of his busy. things. Yes, very busy. And then Kaya is huge on volleyball, and she's indecisive about wrestling this year, but oh. we're going to see how that goes. She has done that in the past. So. Oh, right. Wow. Yeah. It's one cool. more thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, though. Oh, I wouldn't gosh. I wouldn't trade it. So Absolutely. How about you, Jim? Um, so originally I was born in India. My parents wow. were missionaries, so we traveled around a lot. But um, most recently, I moved from North Carolina, just outside of Asheville in a small town called Black Mountain. Oh, wow. Yep, moved here with my husband and my 11-year-old daughter, uh, both redheads, super fiery, <laughs> so that's fun. Um, we like to go camping, and we'll do um, anything water-related, boating, fishing, swimming, laying out in the sun. I actually don't do a lot. I'm kind of like an old lady. I'm like, I just want to read my book and lay in the sun. Leave me alone. Turn that music down. Right. No. <laughs> I'll let them go play. I'll sit back here and read yeah. the book. And yeah, relax. Yeah. Um, my daughter doesn't really do sports yet, but she's thinking about it. Um, I just, I'm not a sports mom. I thought I could. We did soccer for a little bit, but I was like, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you mean I have to get up at 8 o'clock on right. Saturday? No. <laughs> and Sunday, yep. <laughs> yeah, no, but I love, I love Montana. I feel like I've been here forever, and we've been here about a year. So, so. what brought you guys over from Montana? Um, so my husband or? grew up kind of in the Missoula area. Oh, sure. Spent some time in Billings. Um, he's a cowboy, or at least wants to be when he grows up. So um, he did not like North Carolina, and he was like, let's go to Montana. At first he wanted to move to Billings, and I went to visit twice, and I was like, ooh. So we decided on Helena because it's centrally located, and our business partner is in Shoto, and it's okay. close enough. And so we actually bought our house sight unseen from wow. Amber and oh, Tracy, okay. and that's how yeah. I met them. And. Uh, I was so lucky to get in Montana City. This place is like a gem. Absolutely. Friggin love it. So, no, yeah. it's a good area. Like it's you said, amazing. centrally located. Yeah. Either way with and the it, school so. there is fantastic. My daughter yeah. rides oh, her yeah. bike to school, and she's made a lot of friends. She's doing so much better in school. I just awesome. couldn't be happier. It's such a great community there. Oh, my gosh. I love it. So, yeah. Awesome. And then, so, is that what brought you, I guess, into real estate? Was part well, of this? Well, actually, so they sold me my house, and we just became friends. Like, we started hanging out and going to the gym together. We have very similar, like, lifestyles and goals. And um, they came back from GRI, and they, ha they had this idea. They're like, hey, Jenny, we're expanding our team. Do you want to be a real estate agent? And I was like... I've never thought about it, but I want to hang out with you guys. <laughs> so, <laughs> sure. Yeah. What do I got to do? Rock on. Um, yeah, and then within like two weeks, I was signed up for school, and then I got my license like a month and a half later. Wow. Yeah, I like head, to the, <laughs> head yeah. to the computer. I was like, pretend I'm not here for the next two weeks, you guys. Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, it was a lot, though. Man, I went cross-eyed a lot. But yeah, 
So I think end of May, I was licensed and started getting an HAR and NAR mm -hmm. and all that stuff um, and was rocking and rolling by June and it's been nonstop ever since. Yeah. So She's got a killing few deals it. Yeah. yeah, I'm under contract on three currently and I have um, four listings and killing it. Yeah, I'm wow. so excited. I'm like, this is freaking so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> you guys didn't tell me it was this much fun. Right. I envy you guys get to go out and go check out the houses. Oh That's my gosh. Cool. Yeah. I mean, the properties. That's my yeah. favorite part is yeah. just getting to like I was like, following you guys on places. Facebook, yeah, I get to see your your Wednesdays, yep. oh, tour, yeah. tour days, so <laughs> you guys have fun, so. <laughs> Our team is awesome. We absolutely have a blast, so yeah. if we're not out giggling and laughing and doing, we all love what we do, yeah. and I think that's what is so great, and one of the yeah. things we saw in Jenny is just how much she cares about people, and it really doesn't matter, you know, who you know does matter in some cases, but also the biggest thing is about your integrity and that's obviously a huge piece of our office yeah. okay. um you can teach people the other things and jenny has been absolutely phenomenal awesome. so she's yeah. killed it they're just been so supportive and i, I call them at like 11 o'clock and I, i'm like hey guys this is happening what should i do and i'm like <laughs> texting them at like two o'clock in the morning i'm like what what the, what do i do <laughs> so it's like the support has been phenomenal but the the main reason I did it was just because I wanted to hang out with them. I was nice. like, if I can go to work and feel like I'm like just hanging playing, out yeah, and just like chill, <laughs> chilling, I'm like, awesome. it's got to be good. Absolutely. So. so there's more to your team. Whom is not here? Um, so Tracy Olson is our broker. So she's the one that keeps us all in line yeah. and makes sure that we're doing what we're supposed to be <laughs> doing contractually, those type of things. She's been in the business for a very long time. Yeah. Absolutely phenomenal um, she's coach. A and rock star. Yeah. She just kills it and very. She's hilarious. She is hilarious. Yeah. Like <laughs> we, I said, we, call we do them a lot of, Yeah. We have Tracyisms <laughs> in our office. We actually have a list that we're going to write a book later. You guys will really enjoy it. We're going to write a t-shirt. Yeah. And a t-shirt. I think yeah. my favorite one is uh, Nat's Fanny. A uh, Nat's Fanny. Yep. Yeah. That I was like, what one. did you just say? To me? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't know how to use that appropriately in a conversation, but I'm like, Nat's Fanny. But she's, got, she's like, I'm going to try it on a podcast. <laughs> Love it. Love it. This is the world's introduction yeah. to Nat Fanny. Yeah. <laughs> Started here. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Obviously. So, yeah. So Tracy's our broker. She's also my business partner. So we own Integrity and Impact together. Um, and then we do have uh, Lana Moyer, which is one of our agents. Mm -hmm. Amy Lapier, who is another one of our yeah, agents. She's awesome. Um, yeah. So and then Shay. And, and Shay. Um, and she is our transaction coordinator. So we operate very different from a lot of offices. We own our um, our brokerage. Actually, hosts our transaction coordinator as a part of our team so it's something that people get when they're part of our actual mm -hmm. operation and every one of them so that everybody goes through the transaction having the same experience and we're shauna will attest to this but we're very on top of our game when yes. we <laughs> <laughs> yeah. everything goes smooth and we yeah. know what's happening yeah, during our transactions we don't miss things That's awesome. Yeah. Um, unless it's stoves, like sometimes right. I miss those things. <laughs> <laughs> Long story. Yeah. <laughs> Another podcast. Another <laughs> podcast. Things to watch for. Podcast. So what what kind of made it worthwhile for you? I'll start with you, Amber. What made this worthwhile for you to get into real estate? So um, a lot of people don't know, but I came from Man Mortgage, so I was on this side. I was a. Uh, I've actually kind of stepped through a lot of sales jobs in my life. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do when I grew up, and I loved lending. It just didn't fit all the pieces that I kind of wanted. Um, I stepped into a CEO position at Keller Williams, and that's how I got started on the real estate side. And what I found is that I loved what the agents were doing, so I actually took a different direction, got my license, and started selling real estate three years ago. And I have not looked back. Tracy and I um, started Integrity and Impact Realty together. We had always joked for years, if there was something that her and I could get in together as a business, that we would absolutely smash it. And that has been the case. So it's been a lot of fun to be able to see that come through. And we've got some really big plans for our office too as well. But the thing I love about real estate um, on this side is I love looking at the houses and then also helping people make those choices on things that are going to impact their life for a long time. It's not just where they live or the home that they make. It could be investment, but it's also one of the places that they're going to make the most wealth in their lifetime is through real estate. So I absolutely love that we have our hand in that yeah. and we're able to walk people through that process. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. You got to follow that up, Jenny. 
Sorry. Uh, I mean, I think uh, definitely shopping for houses is probably one of the most fun things I've ever gotten to do and got paid for it. But <laughs> um, I really enjoy making relationships. Like I do that, I think, um, unconsciously. And right, so exactly. being able to maintain a relationship with so much behind it and so much importance behind it, um, it's a lot of responsibility, but I just really enjoy getting involved in people's lives and finding out how I can help them and um, becoming friends with them. Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. like, I'm going to make so many friends. Yeah. <laughs> All my clients become my besties so far. But um, no, but I really just enjoy making connections and moving around a lot as a kid. Um, you don't have room to be shy sure. if you're going to survive. Um, and so things that I get to do naturally um, and come to me naturally, I get to use as a strength in this field. And I think that's part of the reason why I've been successful is because yeah. I'm, I don't think about it as like, I'm going to go get a client. I think of, of it as like, I want to make some friends, friends yeah. and make some connections and bring value to people. Um, Cause you know, it's about patting each other on the back yeah. and then returning the favor. And um, community is so huge with me. I was a single mom for a really long time. Wouldn't have survived without that community. And I just wanted to do the same thing here. And then Amber and Tracy were like, real estate would be awesome. <laughs> you should try point. this. <laughs> and it really has. I didn't even, it wasn't even a thought of mine until they were like, do you want to do this? And I was like, I mean, why not? Yeah, give so, a shot, yeah. But yeah, I think t just making connections with people has been one of my favorite things to do. And now I get paid to do it. Yeah, so. absolutely. <laughs> and she's awesome. right. Like we, I will say, I have so many friends that I've earned like in this mm -hmm this field like mm -hmm. we have different things at my house and half of the people that are there yeah. I've Our sold clients. homes to yeah. and or help them buy or sell and people just become you become so close to them during those yeah. big transactions I, mean, it's, I it's absolutely love it you it is yeah. you meet people you would have never had in your life and yeah. you know so many of them are such big blessings yeah. so yeah I awesome. think that's huge same on our end too with the lending side yeah, yeah. exactly why we're in for the same reason yeah absolutely. it's more of a friendship aspect of it I mean we'll get the business side done but yeah. Want to, I, you know, end up with the friendship out of it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, very huge. Um, kind of talk about community there. Wanted to kind of lead into um, what you guys do throughout the community here in Helena or Jefferson County. Um, you know, what's passionate for you guys? What do you like to do? So one of the things that we are passionate about is the impact part of our business and why we called it that is because we want to give back into the community. So with every single transaction that we do, our clients get to pick um, a nonprofit of their choice to give $100 to. Um, so at the end of their transaction, they tell us where they want it to go. And then in their name, we actually give to that nonprofit. Wow. One of the cool things that that's done for us is we've learned a ton about some nonprofits that we didn't know about and that we've been able to maybe go and be involved in their um, different activities that they're doing. We've done some stuff with Florence Crittenton and a few of the others. Um, that we've actually went in once we got to know more about what they were up to we were able to go in you know maybe we go to their galas or we go yeah. to those different pieces so we're definitely involved that direction we do try to give back into the community with each one of mm -hmm. those um, we do have a couple of new um, nonprofits that each of our agents can be passionate about different things and so we try to also collectively if somebody is passionate about something we get involved in that nonprofit as a group mm -hmm. and so there's a new one that um, hopefully maybe we'll be able to get you guys on a podcast with him but yeah um, that we are going to be talking to about um, veteran suicide so there's a lot of different pieces depending on each one of us that we get behind and then as an agency we are actually supporting them yeah. and then obviously a lot of the kids sports and those type yeah. of things i don't know why you know but <laughs> why Some we might get hit to that. <laughs> <laughs> on those but um we love that piece too as well so we do a lot of sponsorships yeah. in those areas wow it's huge yeah, I mean, and personally, I think we each have our own little thing out in the community that we do. Like, Amber's super involved in sports with her kids. Um, I teach Pilates, and then I'm also on a dance team. Um, image dance, shout out, Tanya, you're the best. Uh, <laughs> and all this started because I was just bored, and I wanted to do something and connect with people. And so um, I think we just are naturally involved in the community and want to really bring some strength and support to that. So Thank you. I think that helps. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Very yeah. awesome. Um, if you guys could give us a piece of advice related to real estate and one piece of advice relating to life. Ooh. And just, not just one? To us. <laughs> yeah, right. Like more if you like, um, but for our viewers as well. Just what well, you would like um, them to know about it. Let's see. For real estate, um, I think 
for me, it, it's kind of also in life, is don't listen to the peanut gallery. Because oh. when I first started this, every single person I talked to was like, oh, it's going to take you six months to a year. And I was like, I don't like that, so we're just not going to talk about this anymore. Sure. And you don't listen to it. You know, trust your gut. That's if some it, solid advice. If it feels good, just Roll do not it. listen to others because you're, you know, your body knows. You That's just gotta listen to your intuition, and yeah. if it doesn't sound good, doesn't feel good, then shut that sh- <laughs> <laughs> shut that shit off. <laughs> Excuse my French, but um, yeah. And then as far as my life uh, advice goes, it's the same thing. If your stomach doesn't feel good when you're making a decision, There's it's a not a good decision, right. and you've got to be happy with it, and you've got to feel good, and you'll know because you get like little tingles and your heart will start kind of feeling like it's fluttering and maybe you get like a little bit extra warmth. Each person's different, but you've got to be listening because yep. otherwise the universe is just going to send you signs that you're making the wrong decision. And the less you listen, the louder those signs get. <laughs> and sometimes painful. <laughs> so, so yeah, I think just not listening to the peanut gallery and just doing what you know in your heart is true. and not listening just Love it. keep on trucking yeah so, yeah um on the real estate side for me i think for buyers and sellers my advice would be to interview people and yeah. really dive into what they do what they're providing what value um also the values of the office that you're signing up to do business with so making sure you know you're looking at all of those pieces um but just for instance you see a difference in going out and checking out their listings. How are they presenting? Do they take professional photos or do they have dirty dishes in the sink and a picture of the agent in the mirror (laughs) while they're taking their pictures? Because they're representing, yeah. (laughs) Um, I know houses don't sell when I'm in the photos, so that's why we don't put my face in them. (laughs) But um, I think really diving down and telling people you don't have to just choose that first person. Find somebody that fits you because every agent in every office is very different. So interview people and get a good idea. And even on the lending side, right? Like they need to pick somebody that they're going to get along with and that communicates with their style because we're all very different. So that would be my piece of advice for buyers and sellers on that side. Um, For any agents wanting to come in, same thing, interview. Like if you're thinking about getting your real estate license, go and look at different offices, go see what they're doing. You know, how do they work together? How do they communicate? What are they providing to you? It's Unle- not, unless you just want to hang out with them. Maybe. Unless you, they are so awesome. <laughs> then you don't even think, think about it. You don't even have to don't think even, about Don't it. even yeah. ask around. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the number one, no. <laughs> number one thing, do you want to hang out with yeah. them? That like, actually yeah. should be your first it question. Should, really, yeah. <laughs> you can't enjoy first the time. Yeah, if you can't enjoy them, you probably don't, don't want to join them. them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. I love it. <laughs> um, and I think for life advice, most recently for me is to think bigger. I think so many people, um, especially in today, and we're always hearing negatives and all the things that are going on is we start thinking really small and things aren't possible. And in my current situation, I can't do this and stop thinking that way. Put a big goal out. We talk a lot in our office Mm -hmm. about vision and about placing your vision outside of yourself and really focusing on those big goals and those big achievements and stop listening to people that are telling you that you can't get it done. Yeah. Most likely they're either scared or intimidated. Those are the two options. So yeah. that'd be my life yeah. advice. You've given me that advice many times. <laughs> a and couple times. It <laughs> helped me like see a little bit bigger and better and make better goals for myself. Yeah. And that's how I got into lending. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. See? That was, that was I, the I same with me. Transition was calling Amber. And, yeah. was, and, was mortgage. Uh, and is it a good choice? So you had good things to say. I did. Yes. Um, and no, so we're talking about that too. I'm um, just actually stopping at your guys's office you were doing boards mm-hmm. uh, yeah yeah and so what was that again maybe just a little yeah that- yeah vision, board. vision, vision boards vision boards yeah you. so um we do vision boards it's been a ritual of mine for gosh i would say going on 10 years probably now yeah. and um i started it because when you put something on a board that you visualize every single day so visualization will take you to a whole new level it yeah. doesn't matter what you're doing But even if you don't accomplish it right now, your mind is always looking for. So just like if you guys go and buy a brand new car, right, and you haven't seen that car, you never saw 
you know, or you're saying I'm going to buy a white Ford right. just because I drive one, but <laughs> I'm going to drive buy a white Ford truck. What will happen is your mind will start looking for white Ford trucks yeah. and everywhere you go, all of a sudden you you're see this see one here, you see them there, you see them for sale. So they're always crossing your mind. So anything that you're trying to attract in your life, if you get it on a board and you visualize it, the likeliness of you having that actually come true is huge. I can't tell you um, I do them usually in October. We did them as a team, though, so we did them a little bit earlier. But every time that I go and look at my vision board from the year before, because I visualized it, you cannot imagine the amount of things I've been able to cross Just off during the day. Take that pen um, and take that picture off. Um, income's an interesting thing, too. If you guys put out, this is what I want to make, it's crazy when you focus on that and you drive how much you'll get close to that if you just focus on the positive things that bring you to that yeah. so it's crazy what happens when you do visualization yeah, we, we call it manifesting yep yeah. manifestation yeah. we talk about it a lot it's, in our office. it's scary you can start small play a game like um i want to see a, a black and yellow butterfly today and just play a game with the universe and mind, you'll yeah. see it and mm -hmm. then uh, get bigger like I want to five a five, find a five dollar bill on the road and yeah. give it to a vet standing on the side of the road and yeah. I found a 50 once and the more you can start to see it happen the more um, power that you give it because you start to believe it more yeah and then you, there's really no limit that you can put on that and it's it sounds like a bunch of voodoo, <laughs> voodoo doll kind of stuff. It sounds but like it, coaching to me. I mean, <laughs> I mean it's, it's legit. It's something where like, you have to have the mindsets to do that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You know? yeah. And and listening to the peanut gallery sometimes will just put a damper on all of that stuff. So just you don't put want your to fingers in your ear right? and go la, yeah. la, 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 la. I'm not yeah. listening. Yeah. yeah. And just keep daydreaming. Yeah. Yeah. And it is it is interesting when and everybody has their own view, right? You can call it whatever you want. You know, some of us are they believe in God, others or it's universe, all of those different things, whatever it is that those people operate in, you can, you know, operate from that type of piece. But I also think there's also a big piece that we focus on, which is the service side. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have the service side as well, or if opportunities are handed to you but you don't work, that's yeah. not going to work. So, sure. yeah, if you want to manifest and just manifest to, hey, $10 million is going to drop my pocket. Yeah. Sorry, kids, <laughs> that's not story. true. you got to be able not to take what the I'm opportunities you to do. Yeah. That yeah. Lead to that. You'll actually be presented opportunities to take advantage of, and you still have to work your ass off. Yeah, that's but right. when it's fun, it doesn't feel like work. Truth. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. I mean, it's still... You're working till 11 o'clock at night typing on the computer. Like, How are you get this done? Jenny is making it sound like there is no work in real estate today. I am going to slightly disclose we do work. We do work very hard, but it is fun and it doesn't know, feel like work, just, which is why. That's what you want. That's yeah. what everybody strives for. Yeah. 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 When I'm just it doesn't teasing her. feel hard, it's like it comes to you easier. Yeah. And it does. It's, it's really annoying because people are like, I can't use that. What? I'm just going to daydream more and I'll become more successful. But yes, yes, you will. You have to. <laughs> yes. If you daydream and work, you will become. Successful. Yeah. Not yeah. Not right. daydreaming while you're working. Right. Maybe, but yeah, that's focus <laughs> focus is always important too. <laughs> focus work. But yeah. Well, this is awesome. because you can see this unfold as you know, through your Facebook pages and things like that and your socials. Like yeah. Yeah. it's interesting to kind of look at that and be like, wow, like where you guys are at and where you're going. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We're very proud taking, of what taking our... some notes here. <laughs> <laughs> I need to do a vision board. <laughs> do a vision board. I, we'll I mean, come help you guys. Meeting. Yeah, you know, it's I, so much fun. It's something I've done when I was back in college because it was just such a um, overbearing. It just seemed like it was never going to end. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're trying to figure out life in general, right? Yeah. And I did have a board in my kitchen that I wrote down everything I ever wanted or I need to do and all that. Yeah. So by the time I actually moved out of my apartment seven years later, it was actually really like, oh, wow. Yeah. Everything on there is done. Yeah. And I didn't know it. It just, I never went through and crossed them out. I just left it up there. Yeah. yeah. And it's something like, it, it really does work. It yes. really does. You have yeah. to have those goals though. Yeah. Um, of getting them, achieving them. So. They're fun you know. to do with your kids too. Like if you have a home board and um, maybe it's like a vacation that it seems wild and crazy with your kids that, oh my gosh, I could never afford that. You know, people get in those sure. habits. It's putting that out there of, hey, this is what we want to do. So my kids and I do dream boards at home together. That's a family vision board of what, you know, where we want to go. Do. Yep. Yeah, items awesome. we want to do or yeah. things they want to buy. You know, if there's giant boats and stuff like that <laughs> on there right now. But someday. <laughs> someday. Yeah. yeah my <laughs> so. daughter wants to go swim with the dolphins. Dude, my daughter has it's got fun. a better work <laughs> ethic than most adults I know. Yeah, she sure. and her friends this week have made like eighty-five dollars wow. selling bracelets that they made on the side of the road. I love it. She's like, "We're saving to go swim with the dolphins," yeah. and I'm like, 
keep, entrepreneurship. Keep, going. keep going. Keep going. I love it. <laughs> goals. Yeah. I'm like, uh, I get 10% of that. <laughs> that will teach about tax. <laughs> That's actually an awesome thing to do with your kids. Yeah. I make mine run a profit loss on all of their things, even if they're selling ice cream or whatnot. Yeah. We do actually a profit loss, but we do gifting, saving, and yeah. then they have to pay back their loans. And, you know, by the end oh. of it, Kelton's like, this is ridiculous. I'm like, welcome Dude, you're to gonna life. Lo- you're going to like it, though. Yeah. 18 yeah. and 4. Yep, yeah. yep. It's funny. We, did, we were talking about that with the ice cream truck here in town. The little yeah. one was for sale. We talked about, okay, they want to sell for 15000 So, Aiden, my son, yeah. how long would it take you to, you know, pay that off? And can yep. we do it within a year or two years? And we, That's awesome. We all have different uh, advices, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Coming from a wife who's the accountant and myself from the business. Aspect. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't see it. Di- we saw it differently. Yeah. <laughs> but it was very fun to, to go through that and be like, hey, could we do this? Yeah. So. It's such a great a great thing to do with your kids if you have the opportunity to ever run business models well, with them. Make some entrepreneurs quick. You know, kind of talking with, um, we went to Jefferson High School and did a presentation with them. Yeah. And kind of learning from the teacher there, Don, was like, they're now actually requiring these classes with credit and insurance. Oh, and Yeah, right? And yep. So across the board, it's starting to come out. But, you know, I think they kind of left it up to the parents to do that. And some of us are like, well, I didn't, know, that's a school. My parents were should like, be the government is too. bad. Put your money in the mattress. Do not give your social security. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> so then when you want to do real world things, though, <laughs> I, I say real world things. It's like, now how do I go apply for a mortgage? Or, yeah. Yeah. What, you know, do I have to use an agent? Do I not have to use an agent? What about... What if I have cash? Yeah. But it's not in the bank. Yes. <laughs> you know, yeah. We all look at things differently. What do I do with my hands? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was. So it was very eye opening of like, good, we're finally taking that step to yeah. start teaching that and yeah. making a requirement before graduating. Oh. So finally. Yeah. yeah. Same. So I was, very, long enough. I was happy to hear that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, so uh, I know you guys said this might be kind of hard to answer, but what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, you go for it. You, you know what you want to do. You know what you want to do. Okay. Uh, What's the end goal? Boy. There is there one. Yes. We all so, know this answer. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, we're just, <laughs> everybody's like, everybody already knows. Um, I want to travel and coach and motivate people to change their lives. That's my ultimate want to be when I grow up. Um, and I will do that. Yeah, we're going mm-hmm. to do it. Yeah, similar, similar. I'm not sure if mine's going to be coaching for, like, because I'm also, like, I suck super geeked out with the body and Pilates. Um, So I always thought that I would travel and teach seminars on how to like move better and be healthier with your joints and protect your body. But I don't know, I think real estate has been really awesome. And if I can join in with that, with that coaching piece, maybe add part of the body wellness to it. um, I just always have so much fun when I'm at seminars and I'm like, Right. You know, looking at the people up on stage, I'm like, man, I could do that. Yeah. I'm like, ah, I know I that be script. There. Yeah. I know <laughs> that. <laughs> so yeah, I think together, like as a as a team, I really see yeah. like big things for us in the future. Yeah. So awesome. Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> look out. Look out when we grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Any day now. <laughs> Any day. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Do you want to ask that one, Sean? Oh yeah. Save the best for last. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you could have a superpower, Ooh. what would it be? Oh, man. <laughs> what would yours be, Shauna? I think teleporting. Ooh. I really yeah. would just like to just yeah. be somewhere. Never buy gas again. <laughs> right? <laughs> just, never just have to be. spend two days in a plane. <laughs> oh, my gosh, yeah. <laughs> oh, um, I don't know. Probably not flying because I don't really like heights. Um, uh, you don't think that would change if you had the superpower? No, maybe um, the ability to read people's minds. Oh, I don't want scary. it. Scary. Yeah, <laughs> because I think good. a lot of things could be cleared up with communication. That's huge. One hundred percent. Especially true. as a realtor, like, and you yeah. can do that. Yeah, it might be dangerous though. <laughs> that's I, so. That's what I was sitting here processing. It first thing I thought was read people's minds, and I was like, but do I want to know all the things? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Well, and I think it's just like anything. You would learn to tune it out, but like. Yeah. Like you watch these movies, and like the ninety nine percent of the problems are caused because people weren't honest with what they were. Literally, thinking. what I say and all I'm the like, time. Yeah, <laughs> just tell her you love her. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah. That's I mean that's what I was leaning toward, but I do think that that could be dangerous. Yeah. Well, I think most superpowers have like 
a double-edged sword. Like yeah, for with, sure. With great power comes great responsibility. Right. Kind of thing, you know? Yeah, or just like unlimited strength yes. would be handy for me. Yeah, so I could make that. that. Like, cool. Bam! Get all those house projects done like yeah, that real fast. <laughs> could lift things that I didn't yeah. know. I She's could already lift. like ninety percent there. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you've seen her biceps. But <laughs> she, works her. <laughs> she works out. She works out. <laughs> All right, guys, um, just kind of kind of wrap it up here for you guys. So where can our viewers find you guys on the internet? I, I Realty LLC dot com. We're also on Facebook. Yes. Um, okay. Integrity and Impact Realty. Yeah. Awesome. And then, because I just found this, where is your location? If anybody was to want to stop by. So it's 451 Spencer Court, um, right behind the Missouri Brew, Missouri River Brewing Company. Cool. Yep. So Love we're just place. upstairs. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So Great. you can stop in, grab a beer, come and see us. Yep, absolutely. Work on your vision board with us. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> do some vision boards. I have extra magazines and scissors and lots of pins. Is there an open <laughs> house coming that we should be? Oh, oh yeah. Right. So, yes, Sharana, there will be an open house. <laughs> <laughs> a positive problem that's not a problem at all that we've had is uh, we got our new office space. We moved in our little bit of furniture that we had. And then we got slammed, <laughs> and it hasn't stopped. And it's yeah. this is the time we, of year. So we still yes, need to, like put pictures. Yeah, and yeah we don't even have it pictures, decorated yeah. um, yet. So I don't even know that we have all the desks all the way in yet. So <laughs> okay. it's we are going so to host an open house. Yeah. Yes, um, date pending. Yeah, got it. Well, <laughs> Sounds like good. Patient, patient, or not? Sorry, not patient. I used to work for a chiropractor, so I'm like patience. <laughs> no. We're trying to get her out of that. Yeah, oh, yeah. you guys aren't my patients. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes though, I mean, we Sometimes. are like marriage yeah. counselors and those type of things as you're going through the transaction. You so you yeah, could call sweet. them whatever. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna do like a, a client appreciation. Appreciation. Party. I think we're gonna yeah do something to host so that we involve kind of all the businesses mm -hmm. right there. That'd be so, awesome. Yeah. yeah. A lot of construction going on right there too. We've kind of mm -hmm. been pushing off until they get the bank done. Yeah, because there's a lot of <laughs> issues with parking right now. Yeah, we'll pull in and there's like a truck with a bunch of wood on it and like forklifts. <laughs> and I'm like, who's in my parking spot? <laughs> <laughs> but, so but yeah. Well, great. Well, I appreciate you guys coming in and doing this podcast with us. So yeah, this is thank fun. you for having us. It was yeah, fun. It was anytime. All right, guys. Thank you. And thank you, everybody. Bye. <laughs>